can't believe we're back to this again. What it is, everyone, it is me, Barack Obama, here again playing Five Nights at Freddy's once again. We'll try to make this quick so that way we can just get right into the video. Obama already did the first two nights and now plans on beating the last three, which should be all five nights. Without further introduction, I'm gonna tackle this game again and get this over with. I just hope we won't encounter any jump scares in the process. That one before nearly gave me a heart attack. You might need to see some medical help if that actually almost happened, Joe. Seriously. Off to a bad start so far. My camera's already broke down before anything has happened. Geez, barely anything has happened and I'm already on the edge of my seat. Aha, caught you red-handed, phone guy. No hiding it now, brother. You and Bill really are behind something. So much for hiding it, phone dude. Now we have a reason to sue. That's not what I meant. Anyway, I better not take up too much of your time. Things start getting real tonight. Oh, really? You don't say. The night didn't even start and the chicken has moved off stage. I want to get caught and want to avoid getting stuffed into a Freddy suit. Try playing dead. You know, go limp. Then there's a chance that... Uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. I don't know what kind of advice is that. Again, if they think you're an empty Either way, I'm pretty sure I'll die no matter what you say. Especially judging from the game over screen. Yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Um, uh, okay, I'll leave you to it. See you on the flip side. Yeah, see you in court later this week, phone dude. We'll be happy to see you there. Now, I really want to see what you two against Bill in court would look like at this point. Though I'm not sure if you'll be seeing Phone Dude there, though. How's that Donald? Are you telling us he escapes or something? Is he secretly not working for Bill Clinton? You'll see later. Let's just say a tragedy happens. Oh, I don't like the sound of that, especially talking about this game. Oh yeah, while we're at it, I might as well talk about a working hypothesis I'm testing right now. And what's that, Barry? I want to test out and see how close the bunny and the chicken need to be for a warrant to close the door. At first, I was closing the doors on them pretty frequently when they were in the hall. But now I want to see how close they can push it for a call to action. You mean like how the duck was just stanced up by the window? Okay, Joe, can you please stop calling her a duck? I don't know how to tell you, but she's a chicken, bro. Wait, she's actually a chicken? How do you know? Editor Jared put up an image of a duck, a chicken, and the chicken in this game. And just like that, Joey, now you know the difference between a duck and a chicken. What how? This is supposed to be a post-production thing. How am I supposed to see that? Don't worry, bro. You'll see eventually. Although it does make me concerned that you seem not to remember the difference between a duck and a chicken. Okay, the amount of times the chicken has shown up at the corner camera is worrisome. And yet the bunny hasn't moved off stage yet either. What's up with that? I don't know, to be honest. This is the longest I've seen Bonnie on stage on night three. I'm sorry, did you say Bonnie? Oh, whoops, said his name. Yes, the bunny's name is Bonnie, the chicken's name is Chica, lo and behold, the fox's name is Foxy, and the bear is obviously Freddy Fazbear. What the heck? How come everyone's names match well with their species, but then have Freddy the Bear who has a last name Fazbear? Wouldn't Burdrick the Bear have been nice? I'm sorry, but who on earth would name anyone in general Burdrick? Do you know any parents who've named their child that? Of course I do. One of my wife's friends is literally named Burdrick. Of course you wouldn't know about this too well since he is very scarce when it comes to finding information of him on any form of social media. So Burdrick would nickname himself Bernie the Shadow Man. You almost make it sound like as if he was banned off of the internet or something. What? No, why would I mean it like that? He was just unknown to the internet is all. Biden, are you sure your friend Burdrick isn't one of those types of dads who actually do have social media but just rarely uses it? Okay, I wanna be for real with you and say, I actually don't know about that part to be honest. Let's just let that topic rest for now and move on to the game already. Oh, what the hell is that? That's not normal. Why is he up close to the camera like that? I don't like it. What the heck was that laughter? I never heard that before. Whoa, whoa, Freddy's not on stage anymore. Where is he? What am I supposed to do against him? What the freak? Obama, are you okay, sir? You didn't sound too normal there for a second there, bro. No, Donald, this is everything but okay. We have to now find the bear. This is information that wasn't shared to me through the stinking phone. What was I supposed to do against Freddy? I'm sorry, Obama, but I kind of want to see you experience the night first before telling you, bro. Donald, you are something else. Why are you doing this to me and Joe, bro? Come on, Obama. You know the viewers want to see you get attacked by Freddy himself. Oh my goodness, Trump Donny boy. Well, great. I'm running a little short on power and I have basically no clue on what to do against Freddy. Such a fantastic position to be in right here. Okay, so Bonnie seems to be getting much closer now. 
and we're only at 20% power at 4 a.m. Man, if it gets this intense at the third night, then what the heck is the final fifth night like? Honestly, Joe, I'd rather not think about that right now. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's just as stressful as you think, Barry. Oh, great. Thanks for the heads up, Donald. Why is he still there? Get your fat butt out of my door, dude. Oh my gosh, what was that? Who was that laughing? That laugh seemed to have been accompanied by footsteps. Is that Freddy or something? That would at least explain his disappearance. Can we even find him on the cameras? I would, but I'm so low on power and I'm not willing to lose here. Donald, how much longer till 6 a.m.? If I remember correctly, every hour is around a minute and a half in real time. So I assume you have under a minute left? I don't know. Well, that's just fantastic. Now, geez, this is rough. Whoa, what the heck are those glowing eyes? What the heck was Freddy doing there? So he does move even when the power doesn't go out. You have more things to worry about, Mr. Obama, your power, bro. I know, but what do I do when Bonnie's at the door? You really just have to wait and pray. There's not much you can do, unfortunately. Of course. Well, brace yourselves, gentlemen. Why must it always come down to this? Why must we be planted in the dark with nothing but Freddy coming? It's a horror game, Joey. One way or another, this is how it is. God, man, I hate this. Wait, why do I hear the music except it's quiet? I actually don't know. That's never happened before. When I played this for the first time or so... Oh, great. There he is, right on cue. Come on, bro. Where is 6 a.m.? Why can't the clock count any faster? Please, 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 6 a.m. You're demanding for 6 a.m.? Might just push it further away from... That's actually crazy. No way you're telling me for the third time in a row you escaped Freddy like that. Let's go, Obama. I totally knew you could do it. You're seriously awesome at this. You're either complimenting me or you're just responding from how scared you were. You literally escaped death again and that's how you respond to Joey? Sorry, I'm just in shock right now. My bad, sorry, Joe. Apology accepted. You're cool, bro. Wow, already moving and nothing even happened. Crazy. How long are we supposed to wait just for the phone to pick up? Pick it up already. Hello, hello, hey. Hey, well, day four. Yeah, no thanks to you, phone dude. Real help, buddy. Uh, I may not be around to send you a message tomorrow. I almost swore there. What the heck was that? Wait, is that knocking coming from the phone? I think it is actually. Wait, is the phone guy getting attacked? Oh my gosh, I think it is, Joey. What the, the music? Wait, what's going on? Seriously. What the? Bonnie getting at the door before I even have time to process what just happened. Donald, explain now. Every single phone call you heard were actually recordings. Sent and made by the guy on the phone, of course. He was the original security guard before we took over the night shift. Judging from the sounds allured from the recording, not only was every animatronic ganging up on him, but something else killed him. Okay, that's cool and all, but why were the animatronics twitching like that? What's going on, bro? Yeah, I was about to say, what was that about as well? The animatronics are now very aggressive and they're not shy about it. That's why they're twitching. Wow, so we made it so far into the week, they're basically angry at us. Um, good job, Obama. Why do you make it sound like as if I did something wrong? What could I have done to prevent this other than being the security guard here? Nothing, really. This was just bound to happen. Maybe blame it on Bill Clinton or something. Actually, speaking of which, anyone know what Hillary's doing? If Bill Clinton's behind this, what's up with Hillary? Uh, good question, actually. I don't know. How about we talk about that later and let me focus on the night real quick. I still don't know what Freddy's up to, and clearly these animatronics are very aggressive. Okay then, Obama. You got this, bro. Gosh, seriously, why does an animatronic do that? What kind of possessings are we dealing with? Clearly we're dealing with something mad. I mean, with how aggressive they are now, imagine the next night. What the heck was Bill Clinton even up to with this? What did he do? You're asking that about the Clintons. They're up to just about anything. Wait, there's the quiet music again. Is Freddy advancing somewhere near? Yeah, he's in a spot you can't actually see, however, but it is a sign that he is close. 
Goodness gracious, for an animatronic so fat, he's sure twitching his head really quickly. Uh, I don't know why, but my skin's crawling just looking at him twitch like that. I hate it. Well, yeah, I don't blame you. Given the context of the situation, it's not that surprising to be this creeped out. Oh, God, how close is he now? Oh, my gosh, wait, he's right there? Do you guys see his eyes back there? No, actually, I did not. All I saw was the dark, drenched hall. Just believe Obama when he said he was there. What, did you yourself saw him, Trump? Of course I did. I've played this game before, so I know where to look. Oh, yeah, kind of forgot that part, to be honest. Okay, so it is about 4 a.m., and I have no idea if I'm managing power all right or if I'm doomed already. Not to mention, we still don't know what Freddy even does. Well, Donald does. But I guess the fans would rather we not know. Trust me, I promise you, this will be totally worth it. Well, I guess it can't be as bad as when the power went out and attacked me, because that, I will admit, was kind of wild. Seriously, wild is a bit of an understatement. Uh, that gave me a cardiac arrest and made me feel like my soul was leaving my body. If it happens again, better brace yourself then, because that can't be the only jump scare Obama would be facing. Great. Good to know, Hall. Have any of you two ever noticed the paper on the wall changing? Wait, it has. I thought I was crazy for seeing that. The paper changes to what, though? Is it possible for us to read it for a bit? Kids vanish at local pizzeria. Bodies not found. Holy cow, so Bill really did kill these kids. Donald, you were serious? Holy cow. Please tell me in what universe I make a joke about kids being killed and expect you to laugh. I don't know. Uh, maybe you're just into dark humor. Okay, but dark humor is still meant to be funny, even somewhat. No matter what joke you tell, if it's not funny, it fails all in all. And kids being killed was not a joke, Joe. Plus, it's not surprising since Bill Clinton had to have been behind this all. Exactly, so it all connects together neatly. Oh, uh, okay, I see now. Gosh, 5 a.m. last hour and I have almost no power left. Oh my oh, God, my God, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what the f- Obama? Dude, it is so hard not to swear when playing a horror game. Oh my goodness, geez. Well, I guess to be fair, all of us were frightened by that. Seriously, he was running down the hall. That was terrifying. Well, but at least now we know what we're up against. But dang it, now I gotta start the night all over. Uh, what the heck? The night didn't even start and he's already about to be loose? Now that right there is just straight up bad luck. I've rarely ever seen Foxy about to sprint down at 12 a.m. Guess thus, the game didn't feel like picking B1 today in tonight's game of bingo. I'm sorry, what are you talking about Biden? Holy, you were literally at my corner just a second ago, Jesus. Okay, so it's 4 a.m. and we're actually not doing too bad. Surprisingly kept Foxy at bay. Whoa, what? What are those posters? What the heck? Seriously, what were those posters? I swear, the more and more we play this game, the stranger it gets. What do you expect from a haunted pizzeria? You know, good point, Donnie. Gosh, the way this chicken is twitching her head makes me wonder how she hasn't snapped her neck yet. Like you see the speed Chica's going at. Haunted animatronics 101, I don't know either. Gosh, who would have thought watching over four animatronics would be so tense? The ambience doesn't help either. It makes my skin keep itching every time I listen. Pair that with the occasional strange things that can happen, like poster changes, weird sounds playing from within the pizzeria, or whatever the heck happens in the kitchen. Along with whatever makes Bonnie and Chica's heads twitch like crazy. Seriously, what happened? Along with the fact that they just appear next to the door very suddenly like that, geez. Not gonna lie, I kind of panicked a bit seeing Foxy running down that hallway again. Like, all of the animatronics just move without being seen, but meanwhile, this guy just sprints without a care in the world. I just realized, we're almost done with the night. Yes, yeah, so Obama probably has only a little bit left before the night ends. However, again, you are running low on power, buddy. I know. That's why I'm trying to take it slow right now. Trying to make every action consume as little power as possible right now. But that's still very hard to do right now. Well, I can't imagine 6 a.m. being that far. Every time I get tensed up, it feels like these hours pass by in a jiffy. Wait, I just realized. Biden, we've been recording for a while now, and you somehow haven't told us any one of your wax stories or flowing memories and whatnot. What's up with that? Well, two things. Uh, firstly, there's not really that many things I can think about right now, except for maybe that one time one of my old classmates broke their back when we were at showbiz one time. Secondly, even then, 
I've been so on edge the whole time because of this game, leaving me no room to talk about my stories. Well, prepare to hold on to your horses, Joey, because I am running out of power again. Oh, wait, are you serious? Why? Why does this always come down to this? Why does it always have to be dark? Wow, Freddy wasted no time getting here. Unlucky right there. Yeah, seriously. Holy moly, once again surviving at the last minute. How on God's green earth do you keep getting away from death like that? Holy cow, I'm actually astonished with you. Congrats, you've genuinely amazed me. Thanks, guys. Oh, man. Now I just have one last night here. Obama, you've impressed me with just about everything in this game. You can do it, bro. Thanks, Joey. Now I just gotta... I'm sorry, wait. Was that the phone ringing? Does this mean phone guy's still alive? Is he about to tell us how to defeat these animatronics once and for all? I sure hope so. Let's hear him out and see what he says. Please be useful information, dude. What the f***? What the heck is going on on the phone, bro? Are we summoning demons or something? What is that? I don't know, but now I'm scared. What's happening, Trump? Biden, you swore, bro. That's like two swear words Jared has to edit out now. I don't care, bro. Just tell me what is that demonic summoning sound. What is it? Man, seriously, not swearing is so hard on this channel, bro. Donald, for real, what was that? Remember when I told you guys about the ghost animatronic the previous time we played this? That was him on the phone just now. That was him? Why am I even surprised? This game just keeps getting stranger and stranger. Seriously, what a nasty surprise to be hiding on the last night. I thought my sleep paralysis demon was just about to come back to haunt me again. I'm sorry, Joe, what? And then you just have Freddy who's advancing fast already. The night hasn't even started yet and everyone's on the loose. And once again, they're twitching like crazy. Oh my gosh, both of them are at my two corners now. Great. How the heck are we gonna beat this if everyone's off the cuffs this soon? This is just ludicrous. More importantly, judging from Freddy's behavior, how are we gonna deal with him? Man, I didn't really think about that. We got through both night three and four and we still got no lead to what he even does. The only thing I know about him is that he seems to come to the right hallway. So I'm assuming he does something similar to Chica? Yes, but he does do one key thing different than Chica, however. And that's exactly what I'm worried about. Oh gosh, even the creepy faces are back. This is just chaos at this point. There's too much happening. Oh man, there he is, already near my right corner. Bonnie, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd like to interact with you and Chica as minimally as possible, my guy. Please leave ASAP. If only it was as simple as that, huh? You never know, okay, bud? Interesting. As soon as I checked the door is when it was accompanied by footsteps. I wonder if looking out for those footsteps can help. That's something I've actually never tried to entertain before. Honestly, maybe you could use footsteps to know if something has moved or not. Though if I'm not mistaken, they don't occur all the time. Well, if that's the case, I'll try to be more on the lookout for those audio cues. Yeah. There are the footsteps again. Guess I should have been paying attention to it before in the few previous nights. Hold up, why was that laugh so loud? Is he already here or something? I don't know, but he is gone from that dark hallway. Where'd he go, bro? Just wait until Chica moves, you'll see. Oh my God, what is Freddy doing up close to the camera like that? What the heck? What am I even supposed to do against Freddy? Does he work similarly to Chica? Does he need to approach the door or does he do something else? Sorry, won't tell just yet. Donald, come on, not even a hint or anything about what he does or something? I actually don't know how to hint towards what Freddy even does. It's kind of hard to describe without giving it away. Gosh, of course it's that way. So I guess I'm gonna have to take a shot in the dark then. Unfortunately, it seems like it. Okay, but this time he's not in the hallway? He's not at the door either. Oh my oh God, please save that. So what? Am I just supposed to have the door closed when he's there or something? In a sense, yes, actually. There are the footsteps again. I wonder if it's possible for me to conserve power by looking out for those footsteps. 
Making me use the lights less should allow me to save up at the end. It amazes me how you now are coming up with some sort of strategy all the way until the fifth night. Well, sometimes magic doesn't happen within a few rounds. It may just happen within a few months. I get your analogy, but where the heck did you get a few months from? I don't know. It's been a bit since we got to record again. You know how long our vacation cruise was, Donald. Oh yeah, that's right. That Royal Navy Caribbean was really cool. Not gonna lie, going on there made me forget we were supposed to record videos and stuff, let alone do my duties as the president. I'm sorry, what did you just say, Biden? Just like that, we're moving on to a different topic. Okay, so there's Bonnie. When Jared edits this video, I need him to remind me to look over at this and confirm if Bonnie makes footstep noises every time he approaches my door. Oh yeah, Donald, you never told us what we need to do against Freddy. Would it seriously hurt just to tell us now? All right, all right, I'll tell. Freddy works similarly to Foxy in that you need to watch him on the cameras. Freddy tends to move a lot less if your eyes are on him. So all we have to do is keep the cameras locked on Freddy and we'll be fine. Perfect. Wait, hold on. What about Foxy then? If I have to stay on Freddy, then wouldn't Foxy get let out scot-free? Not if you're constantly checking up on both him and Freddy quickly. The only reason you'd be afraid though is if Freddy reaches your corner. Then you have to have eyes all up on him. Wait, so then what do I do to check up on Foxy when I get in that situation then? Close your right door so Freddy doesn't sneak into the office without your vision. All right, got it. Time to put your words to the test then. Oh heck, Freddy's moved. But where the heck is he? I can't find him. Donald. Do you know or something? When there's an animatronic already occupying a specific space, what some like Freddy will do is hide somewhere in the same area. Freddy, I believe, is in the dining room area, but since Bonnie's there, Freddy's hiding away from the camera. Oh, heck, he's moved again. Man, he's impatient today. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's in the restrooms. There he is, saw him. Oh great, now Foxy's peeking out. Gotta worry about him again? I don't know, you seem to be doing fine right now. It is only halfway through the night and he's just now peeking out. Well, I guess that's true, but you never know. This game loves hiding nasty surprises for me, so I'm expecting the worst right now. Yeah, I guess that's true. Actually, wait, this just crossed my mind. What about when you complete this night? What happens? You literally just get your 120 and dip. Wait, that's it. Oh yeah, right. This is supposed to be a job where you get paid no money at all. This has been so stressful, I actually forgot about that part. Hmm, yep, totally. No nasty surprise or anything. Okay, suddenly now I'm suspicious of you when you said that. Good. Oh, you could not have chosen a very inconvenient time to show up. I'm literally running out of power again. Okay, never mind, you left. Wow, thanks, Chica. Oh, great. And now you're here for the late night party as well? Come one, come all, I guess. Oh, never mind. Again. Guess being upset with them makes them leave quicker or something. Oh, great. He's basically out now. I'm low on power and it's not even 5 a.m.? Come on, man. There's still a chance. Maybe 6 a.m. isn't as far as you'd think. Yeah, but at that point, we're just leaving it up to chance there. It's so hard not to risk any more of my power with the assumption 6 a.m. isn't far. Well, admittedly, surviving Freddy is also up to chance, but honestly, this is cutting it close. So I'm worried you may not make it this time, Obama. No need to tell me twice, Donnie. I think I can tell. Oh my gosh, just this conversation alone is putting me on edge as well. Well then, don't fall off your chair, but do prepare for the worst case scenario. Seriously, why are you two constantly showing up to my door now than any other night? What is going on? Holy moly. They're even showing up while you're already checking the doors. They're insane. Yes, seriously. They're no longer trying to hide the fact that they're supposed to be lifeless. They're coming at me with everything they got. Pair that with the fact that they just chewed through your power now. Now I'm scared. Are you gonna even make it to six? I very highly doubt it. Unless Freddy feels like being merciful, there's just no way, dude. We just hit five and I'm this low. So you're saying I have to prepare to brace myself for another jump scare again? Absolutely. We're not surviving this. There's just no way. Well, you could hypothetically live if you immediately sat and did nothing for the rest of the night. But again, that's up to chance, not just with Freddy, but with Foxy breaking into your room by then. Yeah, even then, still doubt it. We're totally screwed. Well, if that's the case, do brace yourself, Joe. This is about to go down again. Dang it. This is what happens when you let your wife use your computer? Now I can't find the volume button anywhere. Where'd that sucker go? What did you do with it, Jill? 
I swear it was here before. What in the world, Joe? Your wife hid your volume button. Are you sure you didn't just misplace it or something? How do you misplace a volume button? Of course I didn't. You can't move that sucker, can you? Joe, yes you can. You can literally drag the icon around the taskbar and place it in the arrow pocket thingy. It's where I place my other unimportant stuff I keep on my taskbar. What did you can, then where the heck did my wife place that thing? Joe, how do you know it was your wife and not you doing it on accident or something? Because I didn't even know you could move that thing. I need it before Freddie gives me another heart attack. But I can't find that thing, dang it. Well, too late, Joey. Oh my uh, gosh, why? Man, seriously, 5 a.m. last night, I almost had it. Yeah, very unfortunate indeed. Actually, wait, is Joe there? Joe Biden, wake your wheel up this instance. Uh, oh. Okay, this is a problem, bro. Did he actually just faint from that jump scare? Judging from the way he hasn't responded, what do you think, Barack? Should we call up on his wife to make sure he gets up? I actually have her contacts just in case of scenarios like this. I'll call her while you continue. All right, good plan. I need to finish this frick of a night once and for all. Trump, is this you on the phone? Yes, it's me. We're calling because Biden is asleep again. We're in the middle of a game and he's not responding. Wake him up, Mrs. Biden. Oh, darn, Joe. He's always a napper. It doesn't surprise me he's fallen in slumber doing something once again. Just give me a moment and I'll come get him. Yes, please hurry. Joe can't be missing out, especially for this video. Oh, and you two are recording a video together. How sweet. Actually, Jill, there's Obama here, too. It's the three of us, like usual. Oh, really? Tell him I said hi. Anyways, I'll go get Joe right now. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day, ma'am. You too. And to Barack as well. Jeez, this is going to be like the tenth time I've had to wake him up this week. Poor old man. I'm sorry. The tenth time? How often is Joe sleeping during the day? Especially being the president and all. Wow. I know. Seriously, do you think he's having too much ice cream or something? I remember him saying he's been on his ice cream week where he and his family constantly treat themselves with too much ice cream and such. Is that true? How is this piece of information not being passed down to me? This sounds like something I should have known. Holy moly, Joe's eating habits are horrible. Jeez. Well, let's just put that past him only until later after this video. For now, just beat this night. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. But man, do these nights last so long? You had the whole phone conversation and it's still not even 1 a.m. Huh? What? Wait, where am I? What am I doing? Jill, what are you doing here? Your friends told me to wake you up from your sleep like you've been doing for these past few days now, honey. No, I think I was actually knocked kind of into a coma because of some dude named uh, uh, Freddie Fazbear, I think. It was something. Joe, don't be silly. Nothing is capable of knocking you into a deep sleep for a thousand years, honey. Oh, trust me. It'll happen when it's too late, sweetheart. What the heck am I hearing between these two? Joe, get your bloody headphones on right now and get back with us, bro. Oh, I think I just heard Donald. Okay, hey, hun, I need to get back to our recording. Please don't be spanking Hunter again, okay? No promises, Joe, because that depends if he is or isn't sneaking drugs back into the house again. But, okay, see you later tonight, hun. Later tonight, alligator. Okay, finally, welcome back, Joe. Obama's back at the night. Anything interesting happened while I was in a coma? The heck just happened to your voice, Joey. Oh, that's just my wake-up voice. I usually sound strange when I wake back up. No, dude, I think it's the ice cream you've been consuming, bro. Sounds like too much chocolate chocolate chip in your life. How'd you know I had chocolate chocolate chip today? You have chocolate chocolate chip every day, Biden. It's actually concerning me a bit. Oh, I see, okay then. Anyways, let us let Obama continue with the night and hopefully beat it this time. Hang on, wait, were there any footsteps there? Not that I heard of, no. That must mean even the footsteps are as random as bingo. Joe, what is it with any randomness associating with bingo? I can get your analogy, but now I'm curious. Honestly, right now I can't remember. Hmm, very strange. Okay, but that time there were footsteps. Maybe it is a random chance for when they're audible. Which likely means you still have to be on the lookout for Bonnie and Chica on the cameras or lights still which in the long run means I still have to consume power just to know where they even are. Not to mention the fact that you're already at 47% power left. Make that 46%. Darn, this isn't looking good already. This just clicked with me. I have another random question. And what is it, Barry? The music that Freddie plays. What is it even used for? 
What do the animatronics even do to use the creepy music? Maybe it's one of the few songs they perform for the kids, but Freddy is just playing the music. There's likely some other version of it where they sing along to the song, or maybe it's a, a bedtime song for the kids. Either way, just like show biz, that's probably one of a few songs they sing and perform. But why is it this creepy 1940s sounding song then? I think one of the biggest reasons why it is this creepy is because you're the only person in the building listening to it. There's no singing to it. It's being used in this situation where animatronics try to attack you and the fact it lights up Freddy's head when he uses it. Well, I guess that makes sense. Surprisingly, yeah, it does actually. Nice explanation, Donnie. Thank you and you're welcome. Okay, this is starting to look horrible again. Foxy's almost loose and I'm running low on power. It's only 4 a.m. At least you are doing a decent job in keeping Freddy away from your office area. He still hasn't reached the corner yet. That is true, but there's still the other two anim- Oh my gosh, that was close. Yeah, seriously, oh my goodness. Anyways, what were you about to say, Obama? There's still the other two animatronics that can ruin this whole thing. I'm just waiting for when Bonnie starts planking at my door again. Oh yeah, that is true. There are some times when Bonnie just chooses to stay at your door for an indefinite period of time. Thankfully though, those chances are much less likely during these last few nights. But they are still likely to happen though, right? Yes, but not that likely. Gosh, it just now hit 5 a.m. and I'm running super low on power again. What am I supposed to make up for this situation? It doesn't seem like you have any other choice. You just have to be steady with how you're using up your energy. Yeah, I know, but there's just so much to handle in this situation that it's getting really intense. But you still have a chance. You just need to get really lucky at the end. Yes, I know, but be serious with me here. What even are those chances, huh? Because if you ask me, they feel extremely low right now. Oh, great, as if those chances weren't low enough already. Bonnie's at the door now. No, wait, there's still hope. Maybe 6 a.m. is not as far as you think. You can do this, Obama. Call me a non-believer in that, but I seriously doubt it. It honestly feels like as if the only hope I have is to just get on my knees and start begging God for help or something. Actually, wait, that's a great idea. You should do that, Obama. You're not serious, Trump. How much more serious do you want me to be? You're straight up out of power now. Just do it, Obama. It worked for me in the back rooms. It might just work for you here, bro. Please, Obama. You think God will help me when I beg for it? You have literally zero options here. You either ask for it now or never, Obama. Pick your poison now. Please, for my sake, I can't handle another jump scare. Please, Obama. Do it, Obama. There's no time left. Fine, fine. Oh, dear God, I'm straight up out of luck here and I need you more than ever. We're so close to winning it all and I'm too afraid to lose it all again. Please, for Joe's sake, please give me that helping hand of yours. Oh God, please. What? That's insane, oh my gosh. you oh, did oh, it. Oh, you did it really worked. Worked. I, you could I told you it Oh my worked. goodness, I'm so that happy. That is seriously you the most good clutch you victory it. I've ever seen Thank in my you, life. My Lord. Oh my How goodness. is that Thank even you, possible? Obama, you seriously did it. I could cry right now. What did I tell you, Barry? You never know till you try. Thank you too. Thank you, God. Wow, I guess I really do have no choice but to follow Christ. Welcome to the club, Barry. Saved by God from the most impossible situations ever. Not a bad club to be welcome to, to be honest. I like it here. Wait, is that what I think it is? I'm sorry, a sixth night? Yep, that's one of the last nasty surprises this game has to offer. Um, how about I just... You closed the game, didn't you? Yep, and now we're doing the outro. Oh, thank goodness. No more Five Nights at Freddy's for today. Okay, everyone, that'll be the end of this video. This was one extremely insane experience, especially the clutch win. Like, holy moly. Seriously, if you all enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to Jared Gaming. It'll help us and Jared push more of these types of videos out. Just don't expect these too frequently. All of us are busy one way or another, especially me. But your love and support is more than welcomed. And no matter what, we'll always get these videos out for all to love one way or another. With that being it, take care, everyone. And God, God bless, bless you, you all. Joe, your son snuck drugs back into the house again. Excuse me, what?